Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. My name is Brett and this is my review of the California Trimmer 20 inch classic reel mower. Before I get into my review, let's go over the difference between rotary and reel mowers. A rotary mower works by spinning a sharp blade at high speeds. However, if that blade becomes dull, or if you're trying to mow really thick grass, the blade starts to tear the grass rather than cutting it cleanly. A reel mower has a spinning reel with several sharp blades meeting up with a stationary blade called a bed knife to give a clean scissor-like cut. The cleanliness of the cut isn't dependent on the speed of the blades. The mower arrives to your home on a nicely packaged pallet. There is minimal assembly required. There are a total of six bolts and one cotter pin to assemble the mower. The grass catcher had an additional two pins to assemble it. Once you're done with assembly, you'll need to add oil, add gas, and set your cutting height. After that, you're ready to mow. You can control the forward speed of the mower using the clutch lever on the handle. This comes in handy when I'm next to flower beds and I need to slow the mower down. The seven blade option gives a smoother cut on short grass types like Bermuda. The optional front roller helps in mowing super short and prevents most scalping issues caused by bumpy and uneven lines. When I make sharp turns, I use the roller lift lever to raise the drive roller. This makes turning a little easier. When using this mower, you need to be aware of any sticks, rocks, or mulch that could get lodged between the reel and the bed knife. If you do get something lodged between there, release the clutch lever on the handle, leave the drive roller down, and pull the mower backwards. If the reel doesn't move, turn the engine off and use something wooden like the handle of a hammer to carefully rotate the reel. Never do this with your hands. I like to mow with the grass catcher attached. I find that it's easier to keep my line straight and the line cleaner looking. The mower does have one limitation, the maximum height of cut. The highest setting you can cut at is two and a quarter inches, and that's with the high cut version. So if you have tall fescue that you like to be mowed at three inches, this probably isn't the mower for you. I've also found that this mower cuts wet grass very well. While the mower will need a good cleaning afterwards, the grass still gets a clean cut. After a few mowings, or if the grass isn't being cut cleanly, you may need to check the reel to bed knife spacing. To check the spacing, I like to place a piece of 2x4 under the front roller. Make sure the drive roller on the back isn't touching the ground so that the reel will spin freely. Next, place a piece of paper between the reel and bed knife. Carefully rotate the reel with your hand to cut the paper. If the paper doesn't cut cleanly, you need to adjust the bed knife. There are two adjustment points. Simply use an adjustable wrench to turn these points a tiny amount followed by the paper test again. There are three important factors to consider when choosing a mower. There are price, ease of use, and quality of cut. First, the price. The base model mower with the five blade reel, Briggs & Stratton engine, and front caster wheels retails at a little over a grand. With the options that I had like the Honda engine, seven blade reel, and front roller, mine came in closer to $1,400. While this is more than most walk behind rotary mowers, you're paying for the better build quality and better cut. Second, the ease of use. This mower definitely takes some getting used to, but after a few mowings, I got the hang of it. I feel like the forward speed of this mower is perfect for me. The height of cut as well as the reel to bed knife spacing couldn't be any simpler to adjust. 
Finally, third, the quality of cut. As to be expected with a real mower, the California trimmer delivers a beautiful clean cut. I'm also able to mow a lot lower than my old rotary mower without all the scalping issues thanks to the optional front roller. I feel like my lawn is healthier this year thanks to this mower. Final thoughts, I really do enjoy this mower. If you're in need of a mower to take your yard to the next level, consider a California trimmer. They're very well built, well priced, and deliver a great clean cut that will make your yard stand out from all of your neighbors. For more information about models and options, visit California Trimmer's website or give them a call. Until next time, thanks for watching.